Hello, Bikini Bottom. Hey guys, Pie Guy Rules here, and welcome back to the second to last episode of Battle for Bikini Bottom. Yes, regardless of how much progress we make in this episode, how many socks we get, I'm not going on to the final episode in this episode. I'm going to save it for the very next episode, and uh, I don't know what else we're going to do there. Maybe I'll have some more socks to get, depend <laughs> depending on how many we get in this part. Uh, maybe I'll just check out the movie theater and extras and stuff. So, as you can see... I have uh, spent some time grinding to get the shiny objects we need, and let's go take care of that right now. Uh, can I just... I mean, I'm sure I could have just gone to Bikini Bottom. But uh, let's go to Mr. Krabs and, and pay all the shiny objects and get a bunch more progress done on this game uh, in very quick succession here. I checked I checked uh, one of my parts, and sure enough, uh, I did collect that sock in the lighthouse. It must not have saved. Like, I must not have saved the game, or... Maybe there was a failed recording and I had to redo part of it. Or I, I don't I don't understand what happened, but I definitely did collect that sock, so I'm not crazy. Okay. So, do you want to trade yes. a shiny object that's quality craftsmanship? That's All right. Come again. So I got a bunch of shiny objects. I I, I remembered like seventy nine thousand being a total that I needed. So. That's and I think that's I think that's all of these plus the movie theater maybe. I don't know. I got a bunch just to be safe. And of course, I did this by grinding. Uh, I was told that there's also a cheat code. There's a number of cheat codes, and maybe we'll check so those out in the next part. Uh, but there is a cheat code to make shiny objects worth more, which I think is maybe a little more fair, because by the end of the game, well, we definitely wouldn't have been able to unlock so the movie theater, and we would have definitely had to spend a little time grinding to get all of these, I believe. But to be fair, I wasn't collecting every shiny object as we were going through, so, yeah. So, that's what... Yeah, I'm gonna try to hopefully make be make this episode not as cut up as the last part. Uh, although I think I think in editing I did pretty a pretty good job of condensing that episode. You saw most of of me, like most of uh most of what I did. Just I cut out a lot of parts where I just kind of had the game paused, where I was like thinking or reading some reading a comment trying to figure out where the sock was, or just backtracking. Like I I you saw every attempt I made on the slides. Uh, I just kind of edited it down to make it a little little faster. So we were at like 82% of this game done on the save file at the start of this. So, oh. The only good robot is the one that's given me them shiny objects. You're not moving your mouth there, Krabs. Do you, you don't even have a mouth. And he must scream. Oh, no, he's got a mouth. All right, let's see. So now we're 90% done. All right. So that's all that. Uh, so there's still Patrick socks, but obviously we're not going to redeem that until we get them all. So, let's see, we had completed Jellyfish Fields and Downtown Bikini Bottom, right? It did save, yes, yes, okay, good. So now we have to go to Goo Lagoon, where we are missing two, and there is one. I believe they're both actually in the, um, the carnival area. One is near a food and drink stand. Another one is the Tiki's that I <laughs> kind of, like, thought I had to throw a watermelon throw fruit at, and I didn't. So we'll, we'll go do those. Once again, thanks again to... I don't want to get his name wrong. Uh, Multi-Classic Gamer for being super helpful throughout this playthrough. He says he's going to help me with the movie game as well. So thanks to that. I really do like this. I like the way he did this. And I like that instead of just like, you know, having, having a walkthrough where I just easily see exactly where everything is. He's kind of giving me... Aha! He's given me hints and bits and pieces. Can I just... Uh, I can. Okay. Uh, bits and pieces of like pointing out screen caps, like where where the socks appear on screen for a second, or or just kind of just telling me a vague area, and it's uh, well not a vague area, but a very specific area. Oh, there's all the tiki's. Interesting. Um, and that that has helped me very much make this not frustrating, but at the same time still have exploration. And I don't know if I've mentioned that before. I feel like I might have said it, so I'm gonna stop talking about it. Uh, let's also, I've got an update on, I, gotta, I think I gotta walk around, I have an update on a number of things, I, uh, the bug guy came about the ants, I also have vinegar, I, I ordered some just in case, but the bug guy did come, they were very punctual, I got a note the other day, like a day or two ago, that said that they were coming, and the note said that they were coming Thursday, May 5th, 2017, which is a day that does not exist. Uh, there's a Friday, May 5th, there's a Thursday, May 4th, and turns out they came on a Thursday, like I kind of expected them to. 
But yeah, they were nice and punctual. They, they sprayed uh, where I've been seeing a bunch of ants. They sprayed outside where I saw like a bunch of ants outside that I think was kind of the source of the problem here. And they said they're going to come back and check up on it in two weeks. And they say if I have more problems before then, I can feel free to uh, put in a maintenance request and they'll, they'll come pretty quickly right away again. Also, in my defense for not getting the sock, the skee ball thing over there is 100% just for uh, just for points or just for shiny objects. So, all right, that's that. That's pretty easy. Uh, none of the Poseidon, obviously, because that's boss battle area. Only one in Rock Bottom. Let's see. Where is that? Rock Bottom. It's in the it's in the museum. Right. Uh, I don't know exactly where in the museum and. Uh... And I'm actually not going to look at Multi-Classic Gamer specific instructions because if it's in the museum, I feel like I'll be able to find it just by looking. I think he I think he said something about a ledge that was similar to the one sock we got in here. So we're just going to kind of goof around in here. Actually, I'm going to become Sandy. Uh, even though we didn't do this area as SpongeBob, it's going to be a lot easier as Sandy. So yeah, so my ant problem, I haven't seen an ant since he put the poison down. But, but it's only been like a few hours, so there could still be some. But I have I have traps on the way, and I have vinegar on the way, and uh, where? Oh, there it is. So so that should that should be taken care of pretty post haste. Uh, so that's good. I'm glad to not have that stress in my life. Oh, the, the name of the episode that I couldn't think of in, la in the last part, the one with Squidward, Breath of Fresh Squidward. I, I just always forget the name, which I shouldn't, especially now that Breath of the Wild came out and was amazing. Uh, well, we want to, let's get up high. Man, SpongeBob's in the museum, but not uh, Patrick. Or, but sorry, but not Squidward. There's that promo art looking stuff. Oh yeah, shortcut. Whoa, camera. Okay, so, what about up here? No, that was one of the ways we saw. If I can't figure it out, I'll, uh, I'll look, don't worry. So uh, I believe that ledge over there was where we got the sock initially, the one sock. Is it, oh, there it is, it's up there, okay. So to get there, I probably have to get up to the lamps, I assume. Let's give it a shot. So yeah, I'm I'm very excited to start the movie game. Um, I am very much gonna miss this game, and I don't I don't want to give it its eulogy yet because we still have a number of socks to get, and then there's still that final part. And I will definitely give uh, a recap of. Can we get it from here? I wonder. Now let's go on the lights. I will definitely give a recap of my thoughts and feelings on the game, and, and final thoughts and all that in the next part. But, uh, but yeah, I, I am I am excited to see the movie game, to see what it has to offer. Multi-Classic Gamer was telling me that it's... There are parts of... There are a lot of parts of the game that are very, very similar to this. Just the 3D platforming and character swapping and all that. Oh, come on now. At least I got over here. Okay, and I might... Can I... Uh, no, I'm not going to be able to. But can I sneak back onto the lamp from here? Oh, uh, does not look like it. All right. Um, but yeah, but there's also apparently driving sections and a lot more slide sections. <laughs> we'll see how I'm feeling about slides after I have to get the socks on Sand Mountain. And as I mentioned in the last part, that is definitely what I'm dreading the most about this sock hunt because I left behind, I think it's four socks. And speaking of Sand Mountain, kind of looks like it. Yeah. Uh... I left like four socks, and I know one of them is the snowman thing, and or sorry, the sandman, I should say. Hey, look, a pie! Mmm, pie. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I do like pie, but I don't eat it a ton, not as much as you'd expect, and I don't really like fruit pies, to be honest. I am a dessert pie guy all the way. Didn't really need, mean to name drop myself there, but yeah. All right, sweet. So this one, along with the one we did get in the last part while I was getting that spatula, are the last two in rock bottom, moving swiftly along. So the next one we need to get is actually at the first area, I 
think. I spend a little bit running around in here trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go. I'm supposed to bubble bowl one of the moving platforms to find a um, a hook, which I remember. I definitely remember we saw a hook somewhere in the Mermelair, but we never actually like interacted with it. So. If it's in this area, it makes sense because we never went back to the starting area. Aha! I think it's that one. But like, how do we... I guess we fall down here and defeat this guy and then... Then that's how we get up there. Or actually, let's just not even defeat him. Let's just not even bother. Yeah, I don't care that you can just fly away. <laughs> Whatever. I can do that too. Take that, chump. Okay, yeah. Let's see. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, wait. No. <laughs> um. Oh, there's the hook, though. Okay. So I guess that's the hint, right? Let me kill this guy. The hint is that you see a pair of underwear there, so it makes sense that you can roll it again. Or what does this say? Yeah, it just says to bullet to make it turn. It doesn't say try turning it multiple times, but. Oh well. Uh, should I do it? I think one more time we'll do it. Yeah! That's pretty sneaky, but they did. I do remember there being a fishing hook. There might have been like a cutscene or something, so. Whoa! That's crazy. So yeah, uh, not, not too bad. Just uh, my own fault for overlooking it, really. Alright, on to the next area, which is. Okay, let's do it. Sand Mountain! Okay, so we want to go to the very first, to the Guppy Mound. And we want to take a... Uh, yeah, this one's going to be such a pain. Sand Mountain. Uh, okay, take a left at a fork and it'll lead me to a... Pr under the primary slide where the sock awaits me. Okay, take a left at a fork. Alright. <laughs> Reminds me of uh, It's a SpongeBob Christmas with this uh, fork in the road. Alright, is this the left of the fork? Uh, oh god. Um, oh, no. Well, even if it was, it's not exactly where I want to be. Okay. So, let's see. Oh gosh. I don't, I don't know why I went up here again, even though this is definitely not the way that we need to go. Maybe, maybe it's a little shortcut. Okay. Is this the left, maybe? No. Oh, there's Texas. I think we got whatever we needed to with Sandy on this one. I don't know. I think I'm going to need to do one of the levels. As... That's the... There it is. There's the sock. Okay, that's not hidden at all. Um, that's not bad. And how many we, how many we need here? Oh, and right. I do get respawned. Okay, we need four of them. So that's going to be one. Okay that robot uh where is the uh, i keep i keep preemptively i keep like preemptively looking for it especially with how sneaky that one was on the slide in um well uh in jellyfish field not not that the the sock itself was sneaky like it was obvious there was another path but that the the secondary path was kind of hidden a little bit oh uh, okay Whew, we got that one okay so that i believe there's one out here Let's see, under the bridge that leads to the entrance to Flounder Hill. Okay. I believe Flounder Hill is the first one. The bridge that leads to... Uh... This... Oh no, that's Guppy Man. Never mind. Oh, there's the bridge. Okay. Never really even... I didn't really spend too much time in the hub area. This poor guy's being menaced. Okay, under the bridge... Aha! That's pretty sneaky. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Alright, now to do the stuff that I'm dreading. So, on Sand Mountain, somewhere, there is uh, a sandy swing. Uh, a dumb old Texas swing that I gotta find. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know where it is. There's a lot of different paths, and I believe the time code that was given to me to look at in my old video is incorrect, so I'm 
I'm just gonna kinda have to wing it here and try a few different ways down the slide. But that's alright, we'll we'll figure this out. We're just looking for a dumb old Texas swing. Keeping an eye out in the background and everything. Hmm. None yet. The real concern is when the path branches off because yeah, there's a possibility I'm just going to take the wrong branch and then we'll just never see it. And I guess that's what's really tedious about, uh, maybe I want to, wait a minute, maybe I want to, oh, there it is, okay. There we go. Uh, I don't know if this is the right one, but, like, maybe there's multiple Texas swings, but we got to, there we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, that should be it, right? No, I can't, okay. All right, well, we'll be able to do this, we will. Now that I know where it is, at least, but I think we'll be able to warm our way back up. Yeah, yeah. Despite the game really wanting me to go the other way. Don't worry, game, I will. I will at some point. All right, we got the air necessary. Nope, we did not. Hmm. I might have I might have messed this up because we might need to get the momentum. Gosh. Um, the momentum of our movement to be able to actually make this swing. Let's see. Okay, that should be good. And yeah, I don't think we came up here. Oh, this is the da sound. But we may have. Do you remember take? Oh no, there it is. All right, sweet, easy. Well, <laughs> relatively easy. The fact that there's a big Texas swing is a very good clue. All right. So that's all the sands and sand sand mountain. Let's uh, let's just um. Yeah, we, we gotta we gotta get the sandman, and it's on uh, Flounder Hill. Okay, luckily, multi-classic gamer spelled this out for me. But I wonder, can I do this as Sandy? I could probably do this as Sandy. Okay, which will make things easier because of her hover. All right, let me just read this. Jump through the two signs. Oh gosh. Oh, this is this is gonna be. The tedious thing about it is that I can't die, right? Um, so, yeah, but I can take multiple attempts through here, basically. Like, if I complete it and then head back up to the top, I don't believe the Sandmen reset. So that's the, that's the trick. Well, that's the, <laughs> that's the important information that you need to know to be able to do this. I'm just gonna take it slow with the hover jump. Might end up messing me up because of my momentum. But we shall see. Did I go the right way here? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know if it's possible to do it all in one trip, to be honest. Okay, there's one. It's the first one we've seen, so that's a little concerning. But I think I did this mountain enough that I'm at least all right on it. And with Sandy, definitely makes falling off uh, a lot more difficult. <laughs> because of the wonderful hover that she has. That kind of sounded sarcastic, but it wasn't. The, the hover is genuinely wonderful. <laughs> okay. Uh, which way? Which way? Doesn't look like there's any Sandman over here. But where are they all then? The slalom part. Okay. I don't really know what to say at this point. I'm just kind of a little tense. Because I want to. I want to do this. I don't want this to be another marble madness. I mean, the good news is that this is, unless there's something about the final boss fight that I don't know, or or the final area, this oops, this should be the the hardest thing we have to do for the rest of the game. Which does feel good. Oops. Well, taking damage is not going to do me any favors here. Neither is falling off, but we're fine. What? Where? What? Course. Okay, there we go. <laughs> you say that this is one course course. Well, we made it to the finish line, but we got... Oh, it doesn't... Right, it doesn't say. We got like three or four. And if I fast travel, I might lose them, so let's try the, the box here. So 
want to jump through two signs towards the beginning? Maybe this one? Aha! Okay. Life is extreme, as I am going to make it. Okay, and maybe this path will have more for me? No. Well, that was certainly a road less traveled, and I like how I'm probably spending more effort collecting shiny objects now, even though they are, I think, relatively pointless. I might need a few more to access the theater, but I, I don't know. We didn't, didn't check. Uh, I went left last, last time, so let's go right. Who was resetting these tikis? I guess robots would be the answer. I guess the answer to a lot of my questions about this game is just robots did it. <laughs> robots did it. Oh, there's one. Okay, five out of eight. Oh, this is going well. I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that. Why did you say that, pie guy? Uh, robots. Ooh, this area. I don't know if we went this area last time. I don't think we did. I am very much enjoying the executive decision to be Sandy. And I feel like I could probably be Sandy explicitly. Well, I guess explicitly for Socks, yes. Because you need her to get the alternate routes and the other stuff. But I think you're supposed to be Sandy mostly just because it helps with this sort of thing. We went left both ways last time, I think. So I should have... Oh, gosh. I should have went right. But I don't know that there was a Sandman right. Oh, gosh. And I... They don't even keep a counter like that that I can just pull up and see right yeah no so I can't there's one they, they stay destroyed that's good as long as I don't die so I don't even remember it's like three more that I need after I go down all the way again I'll uh, I'll look at the guide so we got the one that was down there I wonder if there's any to the left or right there none on top of there none in there uh None in there. Didn't look like there was any on there, but I can't really say for sure. Here's the finish again. Hmm. Well, there were definitely some paths that we did not travel on, so... Okay. So, let's see. We got the one that jumped through the two signs to the left, but you have to go both directions on separate runs. Okay, so I do have to do it on separate runs. Hmm. Let's see. It takes at least two or three slides of slope to get them all... So to the left. So past where that is. Let's try this one. I think we may have gotten the one over here. And I don't even know if this is a to the left that he was talking about. It must not have been. To the left, to the left is a song. I'm pretty sure that's not the name of the song. But maybe it is. I don't know. I do not understand music culture as most of you should know by now. Try this left. Nope. I feel like we keep going left over here. I probably should have gone right. Uh, maybe it's not too late. This is dangerous. I don't advise it. Well, uh, th this this is dangerous. I don't advise skiing with like a, a shell or your tongue, especially not your tongue. might have to look up exactly where these snowmen are, like exactly in my video, what, what turns he's talking about. We didn't go right, but now we did, and like, pfft, nothing. Okay. I have a feeling that big thing towards the end that we, uh, we went both top side and bottom side, but we didn't go to the left or the right. I have a feeling that's where a lot of them might be hiding, to the right or the left. There's another one we got. Who built these sand, who built these sandmen out here? Well, robots. Why am I asking this question still? Uh, my hand is falling asleep, which is a little concerning. Alright, we're going to the right. Oh gosh. No, I said left. Oh, we're running low on health. Okay, well that didn't didn't yield us with any results. Uh what about There's a wow, that is a twisty pathway, and I don't like it. I do not like it. If I can pick up some health. At the end here, I definitely want to. Yes, we want to do that. For certain. Ugh, and that's another run through where we got none of them. Alright, let me let me look this up. Alright, so I know there's one more down into the left. The last way we didn't go in terms of that last twisty turny section. Can I can I do this again? While my hand is, is falling asleep, and I did try to wake it up, but while my hand is falling asleep, and we're running low on health, and I'm oh! Okay, I don't know how we missed that one. I guess we never went this way. Uh, and I'm pushing my luck on how many more runs I can do of this without dying. 
but maybe this is this is a good omen for the movie game if I've I've quote unquote mastered the slides. I can't imagine. And this is going to be some awesome famous last words right here. Let's go right because I usually go left. I may have gone right once, but let's just see. I cannot imagine <laughs> that there's a, the slides in that game are going to be harder than this game. Like after the Kelp Forest one, after having to do this stinking thing. <laughs> Uh, there was a snowman here, but we got it. After just all the stuff we did uh, in this game, I feel like it can't get harder. Also, there is something that smells really bad in my kitchen or something, and I, it's, it must be the garbage. Actually, I suppose it's possible it's the ant poison. Maybe I'm maybe I'm just like slowly dying from fumes while I play this. This is my Rip Pie Guy. He died doing what he loved. Sand Mountain. <laughs> uh, I'm fine. That's a joke. The the poison is not. Um, it's odorless and it's obviously safe to breathe. But um, I mean, I wouldn't suggest inhaling it. But now there's something stinky in my garbage that I gotta take out. It's just probably like meat or something from yesterday. Uh, and the only reason I mention it is just because it's, it's distracting me a little bit, and because thanks to my wonderful sinus problems. Okay, we want to go left. Not yet. Uh, here. There's a snowman. Is this the last one? No. No! Uh, <laughs> guys, I've I've made a horrible discovery. And and I think you guys can see what it is. The last snowman that I didn't get. It was at the top! It was at the top! It was at the top! It was his hat, Mr. Krabs! <laughs> oh, man. I... Okay, let's try to do this. I'm gonna try to do this live for you guys without a montage. I don't... If it if if I can't do it in a in a quick time here in a few runs, then I will definitely montage it up and, and spare you guys from the turmoil. Okay, we want to go. I think we want to go both left and right here at different points, but we went right this time, just so I remember. Oh, maybe we didn't want to go right. Anyway, just uh, you know, this is what you get. This is like my punishment for. Perhaps relying too much on a, a, a person helping me, a personalized walkthrough, is that when you have stuff laid out for you, when 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 the when the person doesn't say something that honestly should have been obvious to me, because I did hit that snowman in way way back when we originally did this area, I I knew that that was there, um, so it's my fault, it's not his. But when he doesn't say that, then. It's my own fault because my stupid brain was on autopilot expecting to be babied. Like, oh yeah, I'll just easily know exactly where to go. But nope! Uh, four to eight. All right. At least I, at least now I know where they roughly all are. So there's one that's, uh, I think, down into the middle and one that's down to the left. In, in terms of the big corkscrew coming up here. Uh, right here. And then we didn't get the one on the left. Okay. So go to the left next time. Oh, well, okay, that's not the way I wanted to go. And in fact, this was the way that was like my undoing. Uh, I ca I can't believe that. I could not have planned that, guys. I like. I mean, I would not have even. I would not have wanted to plan. I would never like stage something like this. But even if I did, like of all things, just I'm an idiot. Oh God. All right. Let's talk about the positives in life, you know? it's Life is good, really. When your worst problems are that you, you messed up something in a video game, life is good. And it is a good day because the ants are, are being dealt, have been, well, are being dealt with, at least. Are, they're in the process of, of dying. Oh, gosh. Uh, so there's that. And also the fact that I can smell. And why is... Uh, oop. Testing? Okay, cool. I'm still here. Okay. Uh, I can smell, and that's that's good. My my editing so my recording software, my HD capture card software, an update thing popped up 
Like while while I'm just here in the middle of recording, I glance over and I see that in front of it, and I like wait, what? Like did that just like cancel my recording or, or like you know stop it or something? Like it scared me a little bit, but no, we're fine. Well, I suppose you know we're fine because you've been watching this. No, wasn't there? Yep, yeah, there's a snowman this way. Okay, six out of eight. Okay, well I know where one of the last two are. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So let's see. I know there's one still on the the left path. Maybe there's one on the top path or the right path. Uh, there's none over here, I believe. Yeah, no. Also, I I didn't mention it really. I didn't talk about it too much, but I think it was clever how the one and the the one alternate path was hidden by two arrow things pointing like towards the center like that you have to crash through I think that was kind of clever like that those are the kind of hints that are good like those are it's still kind of hidden but like it's it's clever it rewards you for paying attention which is what I like which might be surprising considering you know I'm, I'm not great at paying attention necessarily okay that's seven out of eight where is the eighth one is the real question is it up on top You always gotta be missing one. It's always gotta be one. Let's collect some underwear to make sure we're we're in the clear here. Hmm, which one did I miss? Let's see. Uh, so let's see, we got the one that was between two. Ooh, we got the one up here, right? Yes. Yeah, you lasso it good. Okay, we got the one that was between the two arrows pointing next to each other. Um, let's see, we had to go both to the left and right on the first turn, I believe. So what's, let me see what this first turn is. Uh, I believe, oh, no, we didn't get the one right here, okay. Cool, where's the sock up here? Collect it at the bottom of the slope. Okay, thank you for not giving me a cutscene that completely messes me up. And I, I, I would hope that if I were to die or, like, fast travel, the sock would be there, but I'm not risking it. <laughs> so let's just get to the bottom of the slide the natural way. Um, can we just have like a, a round of applause for the fact that I did, well, it's a, it's a little arrogant asking for a round of applause, but let, let's just have a moment of silence, I suppose, in recognition to the fact that uh, I did not fall off this slide. I died on it because of health, but I have made a number of successful runs down it today, and in general, it wasn't much of a problem. Uh, aside from when I intentionally killed myself after... Oh, gosh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Or when I intentionally killed myself to uh, reset it or whatever. But yeah. Don't worry. I, di I didn't... <laughs> I legitimately didn't cut out like a bunch of tries where I fell off or anything. I, this is actually probably going to end up being very, 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 very... Um, not having much cut out, I should say. Uh, because... Frustration aside, and though it is taking a little bit, I don't think this was too, too bad. Not as bad as it seemed, but but that comes with the fact that I did have a very helpful commenter helping me along the way here. If it was just like me on my own, without a walkthrough of any sort, we would have been here probably for a while. I mean, I probably would have just gone through every path. Just been like, alright, well, let's, let's take the lefternmost path every single time, and then, alright, well, let's take the... Let's take a, a right on the first one and then take the left and most path all the other times and then etc etc. Process of elimination, yo. But that still would have taken a long time. Okay, where are you? Yay! Yippee Kaye. Okay, let's save the game. I know I don't usually save in the middle of the game, but let's just let's just be cool about this. Um, how are we doing on time here? 49 minutes, all right. You know what? I think this is a good place to leave it off. Sandy, Sandy's getting a little tired, all right? Uh, I think we made a pretty monumental achievement. This might be a little shorter when, once I edit it down a little bit. But um, yeah, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed this and join me next time for the last part of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Pie Guy rules. <laughs>